Hi everybody, welcome back to Level Uploading. I feel in space facts with yours truly Shay. So this one is going to be a quick one. I don't know if you guys are enjoying the quick little tidbits, but I know as an editor, I am. So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> I want to pop in and speak a little bit about God's protection. So, so, so many times, a lot of us are looking at God as our father, you know, like we expect to be protected. We expect to be under the shield of grace and mercy and like a force field. And unfortunately, that's, that's not what was promised to us. We are still able to be harmed. We are still able to be influenced and put in dangerous situations however that is not our portion you know it is possible for the weapons to form but they shall never prosper and god is our father god is our general so it's like we are going through this life and we're in an army you know just think about like an army war scene or something in a movie and like your general is giving you you know hand signals and he's giving you movements what your next move should be what your next decision should be where you should go next where is the best place to take cover from the attacks because like i said the attacks are going to come the attacks are going to come but god's protection is not a force field but it is direction it is correction it is instructions and guidance that is what the holy spirit does from within to help guide us through our prayers and through our communication with the lord we are able to actually figure out our next moves. And there are so many of us who, you know, have begun to have ill feelings towards God because it's like, God, well, you're supposed to protect me. How could you let this happen? How could you let that happen? How could you let this occur? And a lot of times we just have to realize that we had a misstep. Imagine if you are on a, la a landmine and you're walking through this landmine. You know, you want this protection from God. He's your general. He's the head commander in charge or the captain or whatever military phrase. I don't really know about them. Um, the hierarchy so I'm just kind of generalizing here but he's the head man on, on campus and he's telling you hey he's giving you his hand signals he's telling you go this way go that way and you decide the way that God tells you to go is not the way that you want to go then how can you be upset at God for the fact that your foot got blown off on a landmine if God told you to go this way and you said well that way looked like a little suspicious I'm gonna actually try to see you go this way and then you got blown up and now you're like God how could you let me get blown up we want God's protection but we don't want to listen to his instructions we want God's covering but we don't want to listen to the things he says to avoid things that he says are good the things that he says are pleasing the things that he says do this things he says don't do this we don't want to listen to that but we still expect to get the same outcome and the benefits from his protection it's the same exact way if you were at war right now and god was your general and he was the one commanding you of what way to go to get yourself and the rest of the team and the rest of the army or whatever to safety and all the rest of the army and the team are going their own ways and doing their own things and and picking their own struggles how is it that at the end of this we're looking at god like well how could you let this happen how could you let this occur everybody's making their own plans going their own way God can't protect us that way. He's trying to get us in alignment. He's trying to get us to go the way that he knows is going to be safer. You have to think about it. We have the benefit of having an omnipotent, omnipresent God who knows and sees all. There is nothing that is a surprise to him. And some might say, oh, well, if he knows everything that's going to happen, then why would he let me do that? But you have, you can't pick and choose when you want to have free will. Like you can't want him to let you have your fun let you do your thing and, and come to him when you're ready and choose him when you're prepared and when you're in a better headspace but then on the flip side expect him to treat you like a robot and treat you like oh let me snatch them up do this like no you can't pick and choose the free will you have free will all he can do is give you the hand signals all he can do is tell you what to do all he can do is give you the guidance and, and send people in your lives that's going to help you to be in alignment it's up to you to take it it's up to you to take heed it's up to you to listen to the directions and the corrections and the rebukes without offense 
and without becoming defensive. Imagine if you're on a war, you're in a war zone, and God is like, we need to go this way. And you're like, why are you standing in that tone? Why are you telling me like that, Lord? How am I supposed to protect you? Like, I'm trying to protect you. I don't know if you've ever like watched movies and um, I know like for me Purge was one of those movies where I, I, I'm not sure if that was the second one or the third one but where one of the guys was like very tactical you know um, guy and he was helping to get these civilians to safety and I'm like if people aren't gonna listen to you then you're gonna be like huh you know you're in the movie theater you're like why is she ain't listening just leave her or the person who tries to say well who made you the boss who made you head in charge I want I, I said we go this way this always happens in movies like it's like a, a thing and that person decides to go some other way and they wind up getting harmed everyone is sad and everyone feels bad for that person but can we blame anyone but them can we blame anyone but them so you guys need to start thinking about the things that god is telling you not to do people so many people criticize christianity and criticize um god and how he let things happen and how he sat and watched slavery and how he did all this stuff not realizing that these is the actions of human this is the actions of man this is the actions of free will that we so often love to speak about we sit there and damage ourselves by not listening to him and the next thing you know we're, we're blaming him for the for whatever thing has occurred whatever thing that has gone wrong and it's not fair to him everyone criticizes christianity but think about the things that christianity says it's not telling you anything wrong to do or not do don't sleep with people god is trying to tell you that not because he doesn't want you to have fun because he knows the spiritual and mental and physical ramifications that can happen with sleeping with multiple people that are that have no connection and have no love for you god says don't steal he knows the spiritual implications he knows the harm that it does to others when you're stealing he knows that it is dishonest when he says don't lie it's not because he wants he doesn't want you to be able to get over and, and fight the system it's because he knows that it's something bigger behind that you're harming others by lying everything that the bible and that god has instructed us not to do has really a lot of common sense and if you look at god our father as a father figure you have to understand that that is exactly what he is trying to do to lead us as parents although i am not one i have i have some our parents want the best for us our parents will tell us not to do things because they know the outcome our parents will tell us not to do things that we think are fun but because they are trying to protect us god is exactly the same way so as we navigate this life we need to be a lot more understanding and cognizant of the fact that in order for us to enjoy the fruits of the protection and the knowledge and the benefits of having a father who knows and has created everything we have to actually listen to him i hope that gives you guys something to think about i'll talk to you on the next one peace that feels weird okay bye okay that feels better <laughs> bye y'all